everybody. Let's explain briefly how a neural tube is formed. Let's make a scheme of a dorsal view. on the embryo, so we are looking on the floor of the amniotic vesicle. We already know that the ectoderm is there thickened in the medi median plane to form the primitive streak, which ends with a primitive node. However, along the midline, the, there are two thickenin thickenings, left and right, thickenings of the ectoderm. This is called neuroplate and in between there is a neural groove. So this is dorsal view on the embryonic disc. On day 18, so third week. If we make a cross-section to elucidate that better we can see that the ectoderm is thickened to form the neural plate. In the midline there is a neural groove. Below there is uh, a notochord, which is inducing some of these changes. And we got also the mesoderm. On both sides of the notochord. Ventrally, there is the endoderm of the primitive gut. So let's label the structures. This is the primitive streak. streak which ends with the primitive node. And the planar view on the neural plate. And the neural groove in between. In a cross section, the, the dorsal ectoderm with the thickening of the neural plates. This is the neural groove in the middle and the neural plate. That's the same. This is the mesoderm. In the midline there is the notochord and the endoderm. of the primitive gut, derived from the yolk vesicle. A few days later, this process carries on by closing the neural groove So actually, The closure starts in the middle and runs in both direction, anteriorly and posteriorly. Here is the cranial pole and here of course the caudal pole as could be seen from the position of the primitive streak. So this uh, the, the, the last uh, parts uh, to be closed are called the neuropores. This is the anterior 
new rapport which will close at day 25 and this will be the posterior opening or posterior neuropore that closes two days later the way day 27 again in a cross section that will be through this nearly closing region would look like this with neural folds invagination of the neural tube the future neural tube here we got the denotor cord the mesoderm and the endoderm these are neural folds that are approaching each other the tube is being invaginated and in this region is the prospective region where material of future new structures called neurocrests can be found so this is the prospective neurocrest we can see the structure we'll see the structure on next scheme ne next scheme so finally after complete after the um, neurotube is completely closed and separated you would see it as transparent tube which in the cranial part will become segmented at first into three segments called brain vesicles the rest is unsegmented yet but accompanied by the body segments called somites these are this that's the paraxial segmented mesoderm so in week four we got three brain vesicles first I should say perhaps it's a tube a complete closed tube has been formed which becomes segmented in the cranial part into prosencephalon mesencephalon and rump encephalon this will be the spinal cord and the somites, the body segments again in a cross section through this region we would see a surface, the body surface ectoderm or the dorsal part of the embryo completely separated neural tube this material we have traced here becomes the neurocrest a paired structure on both sides of the neural tube and we got the somites Oops. the somatic mesoderm and the notochord the notochord serves uh, as a structure that helps to induce this process of um, neural relation.
this will be the endoderm of the primitive gut. So uh, this is the dorsal surface ectoderm of the body, completely invaginated and closed neural tube. But we now understand that it's of the ectodermal origin. So is the neural crest. And these are the somites, the somatic mesoderm, the notochord, and the primitive gut, which is lined with the endoderm.